Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another pick a card. We're going to be doing all about your weekly predictions. This is what's gonna happen for this week. So please choose your groups. We have group number one, two and three. I also have another deck that I'm gonna pull from and my, my dice and also some tarot as well. So let's get started with your reading. Start with group number one. If you want some extra time, please pause the video. Timestamps are in the comment section and in the box down below. Thank you so much and let's get started starting with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys within uh, the next week or so. So the first card you guys got is diamond. Ooh, who needs it? Who doesn't? <laughs> I love that, so sassy. Wherever you'd like to bling, when to use it, when you've just got to keep it icy, when you wanna make your intentions perfectly clear, when it's time to beam your own unique light through the darkness for all to see, own it with diamond. Oh, I love that. So this is really, really beautiful. So this is all about keeping your intentions really clear this week and making the first step forward to your goals, like actually putting things in motion so you can manifest what it is that you want to manifest in your goals. Childlike devotion. You are a multi-talented, complex being. Embrace and love who you are. That is so cute. Next one out is luck. Ooh, all your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. And then we also have spirituality. Okay, so let's start off with the Oracle cards first and then I'm gonna put some tarot on top. So first of all, I feel like luck is gonna be really, really high this week. I think you're actually gonna manifest something that you didn't think you would manifest or you're gonna manifest just more luck. I think the more you meditate and the more you trust spirit and trust the divine timing, I think you're just going to feel much more better this week. I think things have felt a little bit rough the last week or the last two weeks, especially with this Virgo new moon. It's been pretty intense and a lot of us are dealing with perfectionism and stuff like that. And this is all about that. This is kind of getting your ideas like perfectly clear. So I feel like for you guys, it's kind of turning the perfectionism into trust and also just action you know perfectionism doesn't have to be like being really down on yourself being really hard on yourself it can be I know where I want to go and I'm going to achieve it and I'm going to make that first step whether it's going for a job interview whether it's kind of going on online dating where you've been scared to online date honestly though with online dating if you don't feel drawn to it don't feel pressured if you genuinely feel like an intuitive kind of draw to it then definitely do that like just go with your intuition and what makes you feel really good and th that's going to lead you closer to where you want to go because it's all about kind of letting things happen naturally so you're not forcing but the fact that it says all your manifestations positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard so you may have feel like you don't connect with what's going on right now you think well I'm not going to manifest it so what's the point and I think for you guys it's kind of like love who you are and you will manifest this it's kind of like you just got to accept you are you and that is it you don't have to change who you are unless it's like improving you know unless it's improving things that you feel like you need to improve it's not changing your personality and i love this card this is one of my absolute favorite cards i love cherry blossom i think it's such a beautiful card it's i love cherry blossom i mean i don't know if you guys have animal crossing but when cher when cherry blossoms came in on animal crossing game i was excited as hell i didn't i wasn't able to get all the furniture but i was very excited by it i love cherry blossoms they are so so pretty and cute and this is all about embracing like your connection to spirit and trusting spirit i'm actually hearing some of you guys have been having doubts around spirituality because of possibly things not manifesting or you think why is this happening to me um and first thing is like swapping it around and thinking like not why is this happening to me thinking what can i do about it what is this teaching me and give love to it and also another one was what was the other message you're going to say bear with me guys i'm just going to ask spirit what was the other thing you were going to say okay i've forgotten oh there we go thank you so basically somebody might be bashing you or hurting you because of your spirituality because of your beliefs and that person can bugger off <laughs> okay <laughs> because we don't like people like that we don't need people like that in our lives we don't need no negativity sis not today okay let's get some tarot reverse upright Ooh, it's reverse i like that okay so first tarot cards is the devil we have the eight of wands and we have temperance so 
you guys releasing all that no longer serves you around codependency negative patterns releasing people who no longer serve you releasing i'm hearing actually strain around your siblings strain around your neighbors people who have been in very close proximity to you so you may have had quite a few arguments sorry guys I need to burp um you're seeing things much more clearly and you're also, I said that with a little bit of an accent, some of you guys might be Canadian, I've got a bit of a Canadian accent in there somewhere, and for some of you guys, and also if you are Canadian, hi, I am a big fan, I want to go to Canada for like 10 years, so I, yes, <laughs> I want your life, okay, so temperance, it, hopefully one day I'll go to Canada, okay, I'm going to shut up about Canada, okay, shush, right, <laughs> temperance here is showing me you guys are going to see things clearly your intuition's really on point this week and you're going to have balance in your emotions so if you've been feeling like everything's a massive uphill struggle uphill climb the climb like you know the Miley Cyrus song um you know you just you're working for it you're really working for all those shadows and things that no longer serve you and also if it's about other people and how they're treating you you're going to be treated really well this week and you've gotten over this now so basically because you've released all the toxicity I don't feel there's a lot of toxicity coming for you this week at all I feel like it's mainly you've cleared out the clutter now you're ready for the new start okay so um I'm saying do the dice first I have some dice and I also have some cards so get some astrology dice all right so we have the 11th house we have the uh south node sorry i had to think about that for a second south node and we also have sagittarius let's put these guys underneath here so this could be relating to each of the cards as well they're saying so i'm going to put them under each card so balance within your um travel balancing with your emotions and just genuinely balancing out with um change so you may be somebody who kind of struggles with change this week you are going to no longer feel like that everything's going to feel much more flowy and you're able to really release this and because this is in the south node so because the sagittarius is in the south node it would mean that your north node would be in gemini so your north node is, is about your karmic path is about where you're going it's about what we need to learn and expansion in the future so what you're learning is to really embrace every single person as they come and also to just let go in terms of how you speak to yourself and to other people and this is also showing me that it's also about expression and socializing so i feel like because gemini is also to do communication you guys are going to have some communication coming in from people and it could be a gemini it, and what it's basically showing me here is you're also expanding your your kind of groups sorry guys my intuition just kind of went bit you're expanding your groups you're expanding who you hang out with who you want to be around and the 11th house is all about groups it's about getting together and communicating and that aquarius kind of energy and temperance is aquarius too so this is all about you expanding your horizons meeting people who are on your wavelength and so i feel like you guys could join a group this week it could be your first group since maybe lockdown or uh, covid hit kind of thing but it could also be that you're ready to start something around spirituality this week it could be maybe you do your first um writing manifestation maybe you do your first crystal meditation massive amount of energy going forward and the devil is kind of like the opposite to, i mean it is obviously it is spirituality but it's kind of the opposite to where we want to go and it's good that it's in the reverse because basically that is literally the self node self node is kind of like releasing what we no longer need so that's really good that is literally what you're doing okay so let's get you another card let's see what else you're working with uh this week okay yes i love this <clears throat> okay so they're saying this could be what you're leaving behind and also what you're bringing in. So this is what you're leaving behind. This is what you're bringing in. So I love the fact that we have manifestation because it shows here that you've been putting in the effort to bring in that manifestation. So 
basically if this is to do with what you're leaving behind you're leaving behind the need to struggle and strain to do your finances and also it could be overspending you may need to not have as much financial discipline anymore because you're in a more wholesome open place where you don't have to struggle and strain around money and feeling restricted and feeling like okay I need to be really kind of stingy on what I'm spending or basically just be very very aware of what I'm spending and that's good anyway but I feel like it's it's more of a conscious thing it's not so much a subconscious thing anymore and you are definitely manifesting a lot of goodness the pink really gives me that very strong high vibrational vibe around love around just comfort and safety and just feeling really good so I feel like all of the points they're showing me are things you want to manifest and you're basically going through all of those points before and all of those points are like mental energy so you're working on the mental first you've done all that now it's time for the physical manifestation to come forward and to greet you and to bring in this week okay so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so first crystal we have out is Lumerian Quartz. I really love Lumerian Quartz. I didn't actually know this was a thing until like a few months ago. So I am very happy with this and it's such a beautiful colour as well. It's such like a gentle peaceful colour. So this is for anyone in need of a vacation from their thoughts. It says Lumerians are like wands. Point them at body parts, friends and other crystals that need some juice. Escape your mind and it says awaken your inner wizard or witch and cast a spell with Lumerian Quartz. Whenever someone or some something you love needs a zap of healing energy, escape your mind. So for you guys, it's really about your healing journey. You might be getting Reiki this week. You might be getting some sort of alternative healing. You could also be, I'm hearing, changing your prescription around like drugs and things that you're taking. Um, it could be you're actually coming off them, which is really good. I'm actually hearing some of you guys might be coming off antidepressants, which I am not a health advisor. Okay, this is just general guidance, so please take it as it resonates. But I do feel like if you feel like you've you need to come off it. That's just extra clarification, okay? And I feel like some of you guys, you might be just more health conscious this week around what you need to take and what your body needs. And you're just very conscious of what you're taking in your body. So you're gonna to start to see more bigger symptoms, um, but you're gonna be able to tackle them quicker and they're gonna go quicker because you are really listening to your body, which is so good. I just feel like so much healing is coming out of this group. Wow. Oh my God, these are beautiful cards. Okay, so first card out, it says, Look at the underbelly, number six. Be sure that you're using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you're working on could use some fine tuning. So that is all about this Virgo new moon that's, that happened on Thursday. This is really beautiful, okay? Um, this is all about your, your needing to look at things differently and know that what you are manifesting is, is going to be there for you. It's kind of like... Some of you guys have been feeling really kind of doubting that your manifestations are coming. <clears throat> okay. Could be due to your throat chakra as well. Could be having a little bit of conflict. It's coming. Okay. It is coming. And also it says, be sure that you're using your time in the best possible manner. I feel like you guys need to organize your room, possibly organize your wardrobe. I'm hearing actually there's lots to do with medical and like health around here. I'm hearing organize your medicine cabinet, organize your tablets organize you know tablets can also just be literally like vitamins um, I'm also hearing just organize your wardrobe your yeah even your thoughts like meditate and kind of get some space and, and exercise more as well that's what I'm hearing for you guys who need to just get that energy moving but also get the stress out and also I feel like for you guys a lot of you guys are really resonating with this Virgo energy so I feel like it's going to really affect your productivity it's going to cr create much more productivity but also got more stress because Virgos can be very very stressed if they can't achieve something so for you guys taking one step at a time and not being so hard on yourself is going to be so good for you this week breaking through to new dimensions a new endeavor is on the horizon amazing innovative energy wants you to burst wants to burst forth from your consciousness so just let anything flow in if you have an idea go with it but if you feel like it's not time to execute it you don't have to it's more about kind of how you're using that thought and what it's going to bring to you so say if you really fancy eating something but you think mm, maybe i'm going to wait until i finish my diet or maybe you fancy doing some exercise but you're like oh maybe i should wait until i can get like a knee support or you know some weights you know something in like that but you're, you've got so many ideas so keep keep going with it guys okay so we have crane let go of limiting beliefs be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is yet yeah, for you guys it's really about transformation and expansion like really letting yourself be free we only have the restrictions we put on ourselves and obviously we have this societal 
weird human thing that we have going on <laughs> being the humans that we are we do tend to put restraints on ourselves and not even purposely so for you guys just recognize that you do actually have choice and even if you don't feel like you do you definitely do okay and I love how we have be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. It's kind of like your soul is forever expanding. It's forever changing. So give yourself permission to change and alter yourself and do something that you would never have done, you know. And I feel like there's a newfound confidence that comes from that. That's actually breaking the barrier and doing it. And for a lot of you guys <clears throat> who are quite nervous people, quite anxious, or just generally not too confident, this will help bring confidence because you're taking that risk. And when I say risk, it's not really a risk, it's more about like what you call a risk. Because at the end of the day, if you've done it and you've bro broken the barrier, it's not so much a risk anymore because it's just something that you've done and you've achieved it. So just be really proud of yourself. And there's a lot of joy coming through this week, a lot of happiness. It's kind of like you may be starting a new project that really breaks through some barriers. And also you could be meeting someone new in love. That's what I'm hearing. For some of you guys and picking up on like a new person coming into your life it could be a friend could be even like a new baby or something but it feels like a new person is coming into your life okay guys so let's have a look at your tarot let's see what you guys have first card out is justice is this in the reverse no this is upright okay so we have justice we also have the which one's wait, this one this this one okay so wheel of fortune and then the ace of wands massive amount of change for you guys you guys are definitely getting an offer from somebody you have done the work okay i'm hearing you have done the work you have done it girl or guy <laughs> girl you have done it and you are really working on yourself you have worked on yourself there's a brand new start for you and you have become wiser because of all the things you've gone through and there's something you're really passionate about and you're going to go towards it and and kind of work towards it. So it could be that you've been working on something for quite a long time and you actually are able to release it. It's also something that you've been putting out into the universe. Say you've been working on like a book or you've just really been working on your emotions, working on some sort of like manifesting some sort of stable relationship. I see that coming in through kind of creativity and work and things like that. So there's definitely somebody new coming in around this time. It feels very, very beautiful. And it feels like you freaking deserve it. You've been through so much. You deserve to feel happy. You deserve to feel complete. And I feel like it's definitely some sort of completion energy and a new start, which is so good for some of you guys. <clears throat> and some of you guys are really working on your throat chakra because I keep coughing. All right, let's get your dice. Okay, so we have Gemini, which is so beautiful. We have the third house. And we also have Mars. Okay, so I feel like because we have Mars and we have the Ace of Wands together, I don't deliberately put these here, I just kind of do it intuitively. So this is actually matching up really, really well. So you guys have been waiting for something for a very long time and it could be various different things. For some of you guys, it could be money. I feel like it's a lot to do with money and passion and creativity in this group, but also a bit of love in there as well. It does seem like it's communication from a Gemini. Could, uh, a masculine Gemini because we have Mars or it could be a person who really works from their masculine energy could be a woman who's very masculine you know it is debatable but it also could be somebody who is just giving you a message because Mars is about action it's about passion so it feels like you're working towards something it could be you're in the communication area of your job you're someone who communicates a lot for a job and your work is mainly to do kind of with your words and your words are starting to create action. It's starting to create forward movement for you, which is so good. I love this group. And the third house is all about the mind. It's about communication. It's about kind of early education and things like that. So you may even receive a, a letter or a message from somebody from your early childhood. Um, but you could also just receive like a passionate, like something or other, like a passionate message or a passionate letter from um kind of like somebody who's just very interested in you or wants to work with you in work okay so let's get you a card so this is what you're releasing and this is what you are bringing in beautiful let's get another one yep so you guys are definitely changing at your relationship i love that that is really good so this is all about how you see your relationships and i feel like because you're putting in the effort towards your relationship there is relationship changing and there is love here. So if you guys are wanting to manifest a partner, I do see that happening. I do see you guys manifesting a partnership that really, really suits you and feels really, really good, okay? 
So for you guys as well, you're releasing your pride, you are releasing uh, the need to control, the need to have opinions on things, you're just literally balancing things out, <clears throat> it could be through your throat chakra as well, you'll need to have like a really good conversation with somebody and your relationship is changing with someone because of the, your pride is being, you know, is being worked on and pride is all about kind of judgment, it's all about like I need to protect myself because I feel unsafe, <clears throat> sorry guys, my throat chakra is really going through it. So I feel like for you, it's very much to do with how you're putting in the effort. And as I say, this relationship doesn't actually have to be love. It could be a person that you live with. It could be a, a teacher. It could be somebody who, and when I say teacher, doesn't, I mean, don't mean like a school teacher. I mean like somebody who is a teacher in your life. So it could be a mother, a father, a best friend. It feels like your relationship is changing with somebody, but also somebody might be making the effort for you in the relationship that you're already in or a relationship that's going to happen. It could be somebody makes the effort towards you, which changes your relationship status. It could be you go from single to in a relationship or single to it's complicated, you know, but it feels actually quite straightforward. It feels more to do with you are getting what you have been wanting for a very, very long time and you're manifesting that. And it's just forward movement. It's very, very beautiful. So much passion and happiness. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop, all the information is down below and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading and let's see what's come for you guys within the week. All right, so this is the first cut out. This is so delight. Oh, I love that. So it says, who needs it? Planners, producers, and Virgos. Where to put it? Wherever you do your best non-thinking. When you have a big decision to make, when you're 99% finished with a project, but you can't get your head around that last 1%. Don't seriously give up. Meditate with so delight. Abandon solution oriented thinking. Surrender to your intuition and watch your problem get solved from someplace much deeper, deepen your intuition. This could be the fact that it's really affecting the energy around the new moon. You could be really affected by the new moon and how it's affecting your energy. And the fact that we have deeper your intuition, this is all about you guys kind of feeling a little bit disconnected from your intuition. You may be feeling a little bit lost and kind of confused on where to go. This is all about you getting more of a high, higher energy this week and kind of connecting more with source and not so much with the practical elements of life, okay? But also the practical elements. So it says, facing your fears, look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. So this is all about you being yourself, being your most authentic self without any barriers. That is a really big statement actually, which I feel very strongly with that message. Trust, beautiful, approach the situation with a light heart. And we also have innocence. So, all right, so you guys could feel quite kind of sensitive this week, kind of feeling like everything is against you or feeling very kind of insecure. Just be aware there's a lot of energy happening right now. There's a lot of astrological changes. I mean, Mars is in retrograde. We've got this new moon in Virgo that happened on Thursday. So there's going to be a lot of energy around analysing and organising and feeling like you're not doing enough. So just trust that you are doing enough and approach the situation with a light heart. Nothing is that serious, okay? Honestly, the most serious thing is death and that's not even that serious. That is just us moving from one plane to another. You know, you just got to think of it like that. And obviously I know it's a very, obviously a very sensitive subject, which obviously I totally understand. But what I'm saying is you guys is the worst thing, what is like the worst thing that could happen, you know, and it's not even going to be that bad when you think about it. It's mainly about how you're worrying and how you use worrying as a possible control. And I literally watched this video the other day and it was basically saying to people who worry a lot, one of the reasons is because we use worrying as a control to kind of predict how we're going to feel so it doesn't feel as bad when we get there. Or if we predict how we're going to feel, then if we fail, then it's not going to be as bad. And I know that's a very big statement and some of you might be like, oh, been caught out. But honestly, you guys are very have a very innocent outlook, which is amazing. You guys are very positive. You have a very light energy. Don't let people dim your light. And also I know sometimes the world feels scary and feels unsafe, but just be aware your safety is so much more important than anyone else's, okay? So build up your safety, maybe get yourself some hematite or some black onyx, that will really support you, especially if you're very, very sensitive because you will be able to pick up on that crystal energy. 
And it's funny how we have facing your fears and trusting. It's almost like you guys are going through quite a hard time right now to do with things that are coming up that are new. And it's feeling like, I don't know what's going on. Why is this happening? Why is everything kind of being just destroyed around me? And you may, it may be around your perception of the external as well, how the world is really changing. And you could be feeling quite unsafe and just know that this is all meant to happen for a reason so we can all wake up and become a community consciousness. So we can all come together as this one big community, you know. So the best thing for you to do is to love yourself and to strengthen your connection with the universe, trust in the universe and trust that if you need to do anything about it also, it will, okay, two messages. One of them is if you need to do anything, it will get sorted, okay? If you need to do something and you're struggling with getting there, you will get there and it will get sorted, whatever that is, whether that's like some mental health issues or dealing with your confidence, you will gain that, you will get there, okay? And also, what was the other thing that I was going to say? Also, that if you need to do anything to help yourself, just do it. If it feels a little bit like, oh, I don't want judgment, just friggin' do it. And you know, like if you want to eat some that that piece of chocolate, you know, or if you want to, you know, go go for a run, maybe it's the first time you want to go for a run and you maybe feel a little bit exposed or wearing something new that you've never worn before or a new colour that makes you stand out more. Things like that make a hell of a lot of difference in your life. So just be very aware that you're doing all the right things, okay? You're not doing anything wrong as long as you're not obviously hurting anybody. Um, but rose quartz I'm picking up is a really good crystal for you guys. I feel like self-love is so important for this group. All right, so let's get you some tarot. Let's see who wants to come through for the tarot. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles, the King of Cups, wow, okay, and the King of Wands. Wow, so for you guys, because you are feeling a little bit kind of sensitive, you may just be going for a really big trans transformation, okay? It could be that you are transforming the way you think about yourself, and also you might be meeting somebody in work that could be a fire sign or a water sign, that could be an emotional connection. And it could be that you might even have to choose between, between two people, but that's just for some of you guys, not for all of you. And the Four of Pentacles is all about trusting. So you guys are gonna tr need to trust yourself so you can trust these individuals. It also may mean that you're balancing out your masculine um, in your energy, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, we all both have those, both we all have those same energies, masculine and feminine. And what's really important is to trust that whatever you're doing, you are working towards your goals and it just takes that one little step to get there. Some of you guys, you may be saving up for a trip to do with like two other people. You may be saving up to go on like some sort of trip or kind of like buy something quite expensive. It could also mean that you guys are feeling a little bit unsafe with money and that's okay guys. Like there's a lot of stuff changing with the financial prospects at the moment and just really trust. And if you need to borrow money from somebody that you trust, definitely do that. That comes from trusting as well. Um, but I feel like you guys are really going to manifest a couple of really nice people. It could be somebody that you manifest that's very, very passionate, but also really romantically interested in you. Okay, I do feel like that. So some of you guys are wanting a romantic partner. I do see somebody coming in for you guys if that's what you're interested in. All right, let's get some clarification. All right, so it could be an Aquarius as well we have here. We have the North Node in Aquarius. And we also have the second house. Second house always reminds me of love. And because it's it literally nothing to do with love, really. It's actually about your money, your work, your income, your daily routine, which is literally about Virgo. Um, the fact that we have number two is just really showing me that you guys are going to have duality. You're going to have balance. And you're going to be able to feel like you're really coming into your own energy. And with this energy here, what's really kind of clicking in for me is that we have the Aquarius energy. So you guys are really needing to stand in your power and really need to stand up for what you believe in. And with what oh, we have Aquarius, so this is the Aquarius North Node. So with the Aquarius North Node, this is all about you, as I say, standing up for what you believe in and also being brave with what it is that you want. So if you want to go towards a job that you think well, might you might get judgment or something like that, What's really important is for you to just stand in your power and know that this is very, very life-changing, okay? And with the North Node being in Aquarius, it means that your South Node will be in Leo. So Leos are very proud, they're very prideful, okay? And it's very much an ego-driven energy. Not always, but in this case it is. So I feel like for you guys, you might be thinking that you 
need to be the same as everyone else you need to kind of do things for attention but actually Aquarius is a very much an individual sign they're people who like to be unusual they like inventing things they're very good at sharing their emotions and same with Leo's as well so for you guys you could be learned to share your emotions and the fact that we have this on these three cards the Aquarius is representing need to trust and be an individual and being indiv and learn to trust yourself as an individual the North Node with the King of Cups is representing that because being yourself will manifest a really beautiful partner or will manifest balance in your relationships, love and romance and all that jazz. And in the second house with the King of Wands, you may meet somebody through work or through your kind of daily routine. So it could be that um, you change up your daily routine all of a sudden, you maybe drive down a different road or walk down a different road and that's how you actually manifest somebody new coming in because you change up your routine and Aquarius is all about change I mean we're going we're in the age of Aquarius right now so it's all about um, that higher vibrational energy not so much the material possessions so you're working on the more spiritual version of yourself and not so much the, the physical but this is really good because you're getting a lot more understanding on what it is that you need okay so take this as it resonates I got an intuitive download to have this as what you're releasing and what you're bringing in so just take it as it resonates Okay, so we have compassion and domestic harmony and then underneath the deck we have spirituality. Beautiful, so we are literally are manifesting spirituality within yourself, which is so good. I love that. So you could be releasing compassion and it could be more towards being compassionate for everyone else rather than yourself and kind of, I feel like needing to bring in compassion as well to yourself and knowing that you are very important and what how you think about yourself is the most important part and I'm seeing you looking in the mirror and I'm hearing your reflection is how in, how much you see yourself and how important you see yourself so what is it you see in that reflection do you immediately think of like a negative thought or do you think damn girl I'm fucking powerful okay so with the domestic harmony here this is really really beautiful um so when you look in the mirror, do you see somebody who is very insecure, very uncomfortable, or do you look in the mirror and say, damn, I am freaking powerful. I am so powerful. I am so, I'm such a good manifester, all these things, okay? Um, and domestic harmony show me you guys are gonna feel much more comfortable in your home life. Things are gonna feel much more harmonious and especially in just all your relationships, you're gonna feel like you can really be yourself. Okay, so thank you so much for being here, guys. If you would like a private reading or you want to look at my jewellery store, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. And if you would like to, as I say, if you'd like to press the reading, all the information is down below for a private reading. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.